The growth and development of displaced children is negatively impacted in many ways. They're at risk for developmental delays. Those delays can happen before arrival um, in a certain space or based on the environment of where they're currently residing. They are at risk for mental health issues, at risk for severe malnutrition and vitamin deficiencies, um, as well as a regression of, of certain milestones that they may have attained before arriving where they currently are located. Defining developmental milestones, so those are skills that we hope the child has achieved at certain age ranges. Uh, for example, by around six to seven months, we're hoping the child is sitting unsupported, um, tripoding. By age one, they should be able to walk on their own, and closer to two years, we're hoping that they're able to run and go up upstairs. Growth from a expressive language standpoint, we're expecting that they speak full sentences by around four years of age and starting to put stories together between four and five years of age. Um, social smile should be developed really within the first two to three months of life. And stranger anxiety, which is a normal finding in children, is often at six months to nine months of life. So regression of milestones is something that's extremely important for the caregiver to pay attention to. So that's when a child has achieved a certain skill or milestone and then now you're no longer seeing that milestone demonstrated by the child. So for example, the child was walking and now is refusing to walk or is crawling. The child was once speaking full sentences but now saying very few words. Um, Often the child was once sleeping well at night, but now you see frequent arousals or the child is waking up many times at night crying or seeking attention of the caregiver. Um, the child was once running and now refusing to run, um, sometimes often saying that they're not able to walk or, or even sit unsupported. So these are all extremely important. They may be a risk for infection or more serious illness, but oftentimes it's related to the emotional trauma that they have faced throughout their lives.